Hello everybody and welcome to this video. This video is going to be useful for all the bachelor's and master's students out there. If you are a bachelor's or master's biotech student and you're looking at developing your skills and match to the industry level, then this video is definitely for you because in this video, we're going to discuss the best certification courses for biotech graduates passing this year, right? So we're going to talk about both the certification courses that's available in India as well as abroad. So this video is definitely going to be useful for you. So do watch it till the end. I'm Dr. Vaishali, Academic Specialist at Biotechnica. Biotechnica is a space where we guide you in anything and everything regarding your bioscience career. Come, let's explore the topic. First, let's start with the abroad certifications that's available. And we are going to start with the Van Vanden University, right? So they have um, two different certificate programs. So one is the bio-based science for sustainability. And the second is related to agricultural biotechnology. So if you are interested in any of these two, uh, you know, courses, then you can apply in the Wageningen uh, University. So the bio-based science for sustainability. Uh, so in this particular um certificate course or the project it's a capstone project basically so you will have to uh, you will be getting a practical exposure and the know-how uh, you'll know uh, how to uh, you know do stuff in the industry say for example you you take up a biomass to a finished product so this is what you learn so you'll take the biomass and then you will tell or you will come up with uh, you know what is the biomass that you'll be taking and what will be the finished product of that what will be the catalyst you'll be using what is the reactor type, the organism, feedstock. So all of this will be designing a biomass product itself. So this is the capstone project that you'll be having. And this is, um, you know, a, a practical exposure uh, project or a certification course for you. Right. So this was the first university. The second university is the Tufts University. So this particular university as well is an online uh, course. So the certification is called the Certificate in Biotechnology. So there are three different, uh, you know, skill sets that you'll be developing in this particular certificate course. That is, you'll, um, you know, get to know about biochemical process engineering. Second, the molecular biology practices, as well as cloning and expression techniques that are used in the industries, right? So these are the different skill sets that you'll be learning. Thirdly, it is open for students with a bachelor's degree. So if you're somebody who have finished your bachelor's, then you can apply for this certification course, right? So it's an industry-based project as well as case study. So these are the two different uh, areas where they focus on. They give you both projects which are based, uh, industry-based, as well as a few case studies as well, right? So there are two different tracks in this certificate uh, program. So you can choose any of this track. So the two tracks are science track where you will be reading more and more of, uh, you know, basics, right? The basic sciences behind uh, the, you know, biotechnology. Second is the engineering aspect of it. That is the application aspect of biotechnology. So these are the two different tracks. So according to your expertise, according to your interest, you can choose any of these tracks, right? So this is with respect to the Tufts University. The third university that we're going to talk about is the Delft University of Technology, right? So they have uh, courses for different engineering um, uh, engineering branches and for biotechnology, they have around eight courses, right? Uh, especially the ones that are starting the next year, right? So you can go to their website and then see exactly when they are starting and when is the last date for registration. So the different courses that are available are microbial physiology and fermentation technology. Second is biocatalysis and protein engineering. Third is integrated multiomics approach for improvement of industrial microbes. The fourth is the, bi uh, the downstream processing, environmental biotechnology, bioprocess design, modeling and computation for microorganisms 
organisms in by process and lastly is biofill so these are different courses that is available right now at the delft university of technology uh, the certificate courses so these are mostly aimed at the industry level training right so that's the reason most of them are uh, protein engineering and uh, uh, you know bioengineering type courses so apart from that the duration of the courses it can range from 4 days to 7 days so different uh, training program have different number of days and it is both online as well as on site option so you can uh, you are free to choose whether you want the online program or the on site program and this also varies for different training programs as well so it's best if you can go to the website and then check out which uh, particular course that you want to do and what is the type of course whether it's online or offline that you want to take up so with this the fourth uh, university that we are going to talk about is national institute for bioprocessing research and training which is located in ireland so they have multiple short term training programs right the uh, different programs are introduction to downstream processing operation introduction to bioprocess uh, bioprocessing for engineers introduction to gene therapy introduction to upstream processing operation qc micro skills for biopharma company so qc here is quality control so quality control skills that is necessary for biopharma industries next is in introduction to data analytics for biopharma manufacturing introduction to biopharmaceutical operations fundamentals of vaccine manufacture and introduction to cell therapy so these courses are majorly focused on the biopharma industry and the bioengineering industry perspective so if you're somebody who wants to enter into the biopharma or the bioengineering side of biotechnology then you can take up any of these certification courses and you can get certified for these programs right from the national institute of bioprocess research training after the fourth university the fifth university that we are going to talk about is the university of maryland that is umbc so they have uh, certificates called the biotechnology graduate certificates so there are two different um, certificates sets there one is the graduate certificate in biotechnology management so this is for those of you who have an entrepreneurial uh, you know mindset who want to start your uh, biotechnology business then this uh, certificate program will be definitely useful because in this program uh, you're going to be taught a little bit of about management that is biotechnology management about legal and ethical issues that's there in the biotechnology sector and also about project management so these are essential skills that you need to develop apart from the basic biotechnology knowledge that you have especially if you want to become an entrepreneur or you want to get into the management side in an industry in an biopharma or biotechnology industry then this certificate will be useful for you right so the second certificate that is uh, given by U umbc is the graduate certificate in biochemical regulatory engineering right so in this particular uh, certificate they will be teaching you about the regulatory issues that is present in the biotechnology industries secondly about gmp that is good manufacturing practices as well as quality control and quality assurance so these are the different um topics that will be that you will be trained upon in the graduate certificate in biochemical regulatory engineering especially from the umbc right so these are the different certificate courses that's available in abroad right so we saw five different universities and all of the certificate courses that are available now let's move on to the indian perspective so if you are looking at getting a certificate uh, getting certified from india then this particular section is for you right so the first uh, institution that we're going to talk about is dpt that is department of biotechnology under the uh, you know uh, the science and technology department government of india so 
this particular institution it has the skill development program right under its skill development program it has various courses so for biotechnology also they have a skill development course and the name of the course is biotech industrial training program right so this particular uh, program is aimed to bridge the gap between formal education and the industry needs so if you're looking at entering the industry after completing your academic course but you feel that you lack the skills that's necessary for you to enter the industry then this uh, particular training program will be helpful for you so this training program was first opened for the msc and mtech graduates but now they've also opened it for the be and uh, btech graduates as well so if you are one of these graduates and are looking at developing your skill set then this program uh, you can take up this program for six months so after six months you'll be certified with this particular program and you can apply so you are, you have you will uh, have the skill sets that's required for you to apply in the industry now following dbt the next uh, institution that i want to talk about is the nptel swayam institution uh, so this is basically uh, initiated by the MHRD uh, department, right? That's the uh, Human Resource and Development Initiation. So this um, this particular NPTEL Swayam is uh, managed by different IITs. So it's IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi, Kanpur, Karakpur, Madras, Guwahati, and Roorkee. So the professors, the renowned professors in the particular um, area of biotechnology uh, have uh, come up with different courses that they are specialized in for the, uh, you know, uh, for the students especially if you are still a student and you are looking at getting a certification then these uh, you know certificate courses are very helpful because they are taken they are taught by the professors from the iits right renovat iits this is a you know online course that can extend from 4 to 12 weeks so different courses are of different uh, intervals or duration so you can go and check the website so in the nptel website you can uh, you know select the biotechnology discipline and you will come across all of the courses that's available so basically here the enrollment and the learning uh, fees is free that is you can freely enroll into these courses but if you need to get the certification then you have to give an exam that's it's a proctored exam and you need to pass that particular exam to get the certification which comes with a very basic fee uh, ranging from uh, 1000 to 1500 so only after you give this exam and you clear this exam, you will be certified uh, for this particular, for any particular course that you take. So the different courses, the multiple courses that's available in the NPTEL Swayam Biotechnology Discipline, but I have listed very few of, co of the courses, that's around eight courses I've listed here. So just to give you an idea about what are the different courses that's available, but please do check on to the website and see what interests you the most, right? So the different courses are nanotechnology in agriculture, computational systems, biology, plant development biology statistics and design of experiments enzyme science and technology data analysis for biologists bio interface engineering forests and their management so you can see how diverse all of these topics are and these topics are taken by the iit professors themselves there are various lectures that you can attend of these professors and then you can give the examination that's a proctored examination and then you can get the certification right so this is how the nptel uh, swayam initiation works so you can check out their website to know more about the courses the third uh, certification program that I wanted to talk about is at right here at Biotechnica. It's an online certification courses and there are various courses that's available, right? So few of them are CRISPR technology, precision medicine, metabolomics and systems biology, molecular cloning, spectroscopic techniques, thesis writing, research paper writing, research methodology and scientific writing, molecular modeling, artificial intelligence and biology, molecular docking, training and certification, bioinformatics methods and tools, right? So these are few of the certification force, uh, courses that I've listed here that's available at Biotechnica.
If you want to know more about these courses, the certification courses, check out the link given in the description box below. Right now, after the certification courses available at Biotechnica, I'm also going to talk about the internships and workshops that's available because these internships and workshops are also certified. So if you attend these internships and workshops, you will get the certification that's required. So few of the internship courses that's there are CRISPR, Cas9, Genome Editing Internship, All-in-One R&D Techniques, Bioinformatics Online Internship, Advanced Bioinformatics and Proteomics, Cancer Genome virtual internship right so all of these are online internships so you can attend from anywhere uh, in the world right this next is about a few workshops stem cell and regenerative biology molecular docking next generation sequence and analysis qpcr and data analysis and flow cytometry so these are just five of the internships and five workshops that i've mentioned here but there are multiple more that's available so do check out the link given in the description box so after uh, the certification courses, the internships and workshops at Biotechnica, the fifth point, the fifth um, platform that I wanted to talk about is the online learning platforms because uh, in today's era, there are multiple online learning platforms. So various such platforms are Udemy, Coursera, edX, etc. Right. So all of these platforms also give you certification courses and the, the courses are also very diverse. So you can select which course course you want to do and you can get certified for that course as well this uh, can be both free free as well as paid internships or sorry or certification courses so depending on what you want to choose you can go ahead right and this is also self-paced certification course so according to your availability and according to your time your flexibility you can do the course and get yourself certified right so these uh, this was the last institution that I platform that I wanted to talk about in the Indian scenario with this we come to the end of this particular discussion so we discussed various um, certification courses that's available abroad as well as in India I'm sure it was super helpful for all of you if you have any doubts regarding any of these courses let us know in the comment section below thank you so much and see you all until next video